Hi friends, it's Allie Poo. I am finally doing this microwave method baking soda tutorial for you. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with two cups of baking soda. This is already sifted. So it's a good idea to sift your baking soda. If you don't have a sifter, just make sure you break up all the crumbles really, really well. But sifting is best. Okay, two cups. Now, the best way to color baking soda is with mica powders, but I don't have any. And when you put mica powders in baking soda, it changes the texture of it. So you need a lot more water for some reason. But we're going to use liquid color. And with liquid color, you can't really get it too bright because you can't use very much of it because it kind of counts as your, your water. So first we're going to put some liquid um, gel color in a spoon. It's in dark blue, but it'll probably come out like baby blue. And then we're gonna fill the rest of the spoon with water. And then maybe uh, probably about a half, another half a teaspoon for two cups. And we're just going to mix it really, really well. It takes a good while to mix. If you do just white baking soda, then maybe just use one teaspoon of water. And if you use recycled baking soda, it needs more water, quite a bit more water. But I'm going to show you how it should look when we're done. And this is pretty much just done by feel and sight. And after you do it a few times, you'll just know how it feels when it's ready. So if it doesn't work out the first time, just keep on trying. Don't be discouraged. I still mess it up and I've done it so many times. But I'd rather do it like this and mess it up and just redo it real quick than, you know, have to wait two weeks for it to dry. Okay, so I rub it in my hands like this. It just gets the color throughout it better. If you don't mix it well, there will be little dots of color in it and it just doesn't look right. I mix it for a good five, six, seven minutes. Just keep mixing, mixing, mixing. And I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the molds you can use. The best is probably silicone. And you can find these at Michael's or on Amazon. I understand that not everybody has those. So my next favorite is a just a good microwave um, safe container. This is Tupperware. This is my fave. And let's see what else. Oh, we can use these. These are not microwave safe, but you can do them, but I suggest doing them 30 seconds at a time, putting them in the freezer for five minutes, and then 30 more seconds for a total of three minutes for, you know, maybe like eight of these, three minutes, and then take them out of the container, and if they're still a little bit soft, you can put them in the microwave for another 
30 seconds, 45 seconds, something like that. Okay, but today we are going to use paper products because they just work really well in the microwave. They're cheap and they're easy. So, mix this a little bit more. And then I have these. You can get these at Dollar Tree. Usually I make about three cups of this. When you squeeze it, you want it to hold together, but gently pull apart when you squeeze it. So that's probably plenty of water. Okay, now pack them up. Pack them in pretty good. And then after you fill them, drop them a few times. See the little spots in that? That means I didn't mix the color well enough. But I'm trying to hurry, so you guys just mix yours better. Just keep on going like this. Takes a while. Also, if you use these little flimsy, not microwave safe containers, I suggest putting them on like a stack of paper plates. It just seems to help. So after I put these in the microwave, I'm gonna show you guys some that I already have done that I did yesterday. Well, actually I did them this morning. They're in the freezer right now. All the way full. Drop it a few times. Make sure the sides right here, it seems to come loose a little bit around the sides. So make sure you press down all around the sides. It down make sure there's no cracks in it like so okay Use the dye all over my fingers. Okay, now put them on like a stack of maybe like 10 paper plates and then put them in the microwave for about three minutes. And if that's not good enough, then do it for about 30 more seconds. Okay, I'm going to put these in real quick, and then I'll show you guys the ones I already have done. Those are cooking. I'll 
I'll show you some I already have done. Okay, so to take them out, you're just gonna turn it over and pop the bottom. That doesn't work. Just whip it. I'm gonna do it for time reasons. baking soda, of course, just use one teaspoon for two cups. One of those little spoons I showed you. And remember, recycled baking soda takes a lot more water. Just do it a tiny bit at a time, like a half a teaspoon. Because if you get too much water, it's going to turn into a brick. <laughs> 